Hi everybody, I'm Shannon of Tim and Shannon LTD and today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY bug screen uh, for your front of your van. It's held on with magnets and I want to show you how I did it. The things you'll need for this project are mosquito netting and some duct tape. You can pick any color you want. We picked white. You will need Neo Dimium magnets. They are the good strong magnets. You can find them at Michael's and they're about five dollars for a package of four. You'll need some sharp scissors. You'll need some painters tape to hold the netting on the van when you're first starting out. And all of this will be linked in the description below. The first thing you're going to do is to cut your mosquito netting approximately two to three inches larger than the window and then you're going to tape it up on the van. We've taken the netting and you'll place it here with your magnets and put them, put your magnets where you want them and make sure that you've, um, you know, pulled your fabric so that you want to give yourself about an inch and a half to two inches of room around the edge. Okay, so I've done that. All my magnets are where I want them and I've also taken some painter's tape because um, the wind's blowing a little bit, so this will keep the edges from flapping in my work area. So I'm gonna start out on the right side here. And I'll kind of, you kind of go roughly past it. I mean, this is, you know, kind of a work in progress here. When you go over the magnet, Take your fingers and kind of do a good seal around it. Okay, so I've put a few more pieces down and I went ahead and cut some pieces that I think are gonna work for me here. All right, so here's another piece I've cut. That's not gonna fit there, but it'll fit here. So lay it over the magnets, kind of edging it around your opening here, around the magnets. Okay. You don't have to worry too much about getting it exact because we're gonna cut around it when we're all done and make it more, more pretty. But make sure you get your magnets covered, okay? I mean, really, you don't want to lose them and you want them to stay where they are. I got one more piece. I'm going to overlap a little bit. That gives it a little bit more stability. And if you're short like me, you'll want a stool like what I'm standing on here. All right, I think we got it. And I used all total 11 magnets. The next step in this process is to put more duct tape on the opposite side of the bug screen. In order to do that, we had to take the bug screen off the van and lay it upside down. We did that over here on this table, but before that we put down some craft paper so that we've got a nice clean surface, flat surface that we can work with. All right, and I also put down some rice bags to hold down the paper, make sure it doesn't blow. All right, we're gonna mirror what we've just done. On the opposite side here. Just follow your previous tape lines from the other side. This is the easy part because you're just like copying what you've just done. Make sure that you're going around the magnets though and making sure that they're sealed in. So if you have rice bags or bean bags, they really help keep the material taut so that it's not wrinkling up on you. And so when you lay your tape down, it's nice and easy just to lay it down. One thing you're going to want to do 
is really mash the tape down, seal those edges so there's not any bubbles or gaps. And using scissors to cut your duct tape, that just makes things cleaner too. At first I had tried uh, just ripping it and it just made a mess. So I really recommend that you use scissors. We're almost done. And you see how rough I've done this? So you don't have to be perfect. This isn't, this isn't where you have to be. Well, you might want to be perfect more on the inside, but on the outside, you don't have to be. See how I've overlapped on the outside there. What we're doing right now is just making sure that the magnets are sealed in there, that the netting is flat with no wrinkles, and that we've got a good seal with both sides of the, the duct tape, okay? All right, now comes the fun part where we are gonna cut around the edge, cut all the excess off, and make this thing look like a professional bug screen. You can get a little decorative by kind of making some round corners. Here, I'm just gonna go right along the side, right along the length of it. This will also help the material from fraying. Um, I think I'll make a square corner on this one, just cause I can. Oh, this is so much fun. Ooh, we're gonna make a nice round corner on that one. See, doesn't that just look so good? Okay, but we wanna go straight here. Oh, and I think we'll do a, a straight corner there. Whatever you can do to make your workspace work for you, that's what you wanna do. We're outdoors, so having this craft paper has been really nice. Keeps everything clean. And there we are. Your homemade bug screen. So this is how you put it on goes on the outside. So now you can roll down the window and have a nice bug screen, get some fresh air and no bugs. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. That would really help us out. And if you like videos like this, um, consider subscribing to our channel because we're going to be doing more videos like this with we do cooking videos and van build videos and we would really love it if you would um, check us out. So thanks so much and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!